Welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Did you know that the reproductive system does not keep an individual alive, but it keeps the species alive? Today, we are looking at the male reproductive system. We are going to focus on the protective sac, the testes, the ducts, the accessory glands, and the penis. First, let's let us look at the structures of the male reproductive system. We have the scrotum. We have the testis. The testis is a singular form. The plural form is testes. We have the epididymis. We have the sperm duct, otherwise called the vas deferens. We have the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is not a part of the reproductive system. It is a part of the excretory system. However, it is connected to the urethra, and the urethra is a part of both the excretory and the reproductive system. We have our prostate gland. We have the seminal vesicle. We have the corpus gland, otherwise called the bulbo-urethral gland. We have the urethra and the penis. Now let's look at the protective sac. The protective sac is also called the scrotum or the scrotal sac. The scrotum is very important in providing protection for the testes. It is very important in maintaining the proper temperature for the production of sperm. It does this in two unique ways. One, if the time is very cold, the muscles within the scrotum, they will contract, causing the testes to ascend toward, towards the body where they will become warmer. If the time is too hot, or warm, then the muscles within the scrotum, they will relax, causing the testes to descend and move away from the body. This will cause the testes to become cooler. It is very important to note that sperm cells are produced at temperatures lower than the body temperature. In fact, it is estimated that sperm cells are produced at temperatures approximately one degree lower than the body temperature. If you notice the testes during a cold time, the testes will become smaller or appears smaller because the scrotum tightens and causes the testes to move closer to the body for warmth. And on a very hot day, the testes, they descend because the scrotum slackens or relax and move away. That moving away from the body will cause the testes to swing. That swinging or dangling motion will cause air to move across the testes, which will cause them to become cooler. It is important to note that sperm cells contain delicate proteins and enzymes and if the temperature is too high, then the high temperature will cause the destruction or denaturing of sperm cells and the enzyme. Now let's look at the testes. And the testes, they are also called the male gonads. The testes, which is the plural form testis, is singular. The testes contain seminiferous tubules and they are very important tubules inside of the testes. They are very important in producing sperm cells and important in producing testosterone. Testosterone is an androgen, which means it is a male hormone. The hormone testosterone is very, very important in bringing about secondary sexual characteristics in males. What that means is that when boys reach puberty or sexual maturity, they will start to have a broader chest, 
a deeper voice they will start to grow pubic hair and also starting to produce sperm cells now let's look at the duct the ducts include the epididymis the epididymis is very important in storing sperm cells until they are matured the sperm cells that are produced in the testes they are immature sperm sperm cells however by the time they travel into the test into the epididymis where they are stored temporarily they will eventually become mature and ready for ejaculation so the epididymis is also covered with smooth muscle that will contract and expel or push these sperms towards the urethra for ejaculation we have the sperm duct otherwise called the vas deferens the vas deferens is very important in transporting sperm cells from the testes to the urethra the urethra is very important in transporting sperm cells to the outside of the body by means of ejaculation as mentioned before the urethra is a part of both the excretory and the reproductive system it therefore means it also is responsible to expel urine from the body or excretion of urine now point to note is that sperm cells or semen do not mix with urine because urine is very harsh for sperm cells urine is acidic and the acidic nature of urine can destroy the sperm cells and also the enzymes present in the sperm now the accessory gland the accessory glands they are very important in assisting the sperm cells now the, the, the accessory glands include the prostate gland the seminal vesicle and the corpus gland the corpus gland again is also called the bulbo urethral gland i'm going to point out something right here notice where they are located the, the corpus gland they are located are attached to the urethra hence the name urethral gland because of the attachment to the urethra these glands are very very important in producing fluids that will nourish sperm cells and also provide a medium for the sperm cells to swim very important to note that a mixture of sperm cell and the fluid that are that is produced from the accessory glands is known as semen semen is what you see coming from the penis when males ejaculate you cannot see sperm cells because they are very small and can't be seen with the naked eyes now the penis the penis contains two major parts the shaft and the head the head is also called the glands notice there is no d in this glands the shaft contains erectile tissue these tissues are very important when they are filled with blood the penis will become erect and is able to penetrate the vagina for the deposition of sperm cells during sexual intercourse the head or the glands contain a lot of nerve endings when the head is stimulated enough these nerves will send signal to the ducts the epididymis the sperm duct and the urethra that will cause ejaculation of semen the end of the head you have the urethral opening the urethral opening is the point of exit for both semen and urine so now folks we are at the end of the lesson i hope to see you in the next lesson so be safe until then